Good morning, morning Cougars. Cougars. Today is Friday, November 19, 2021. Seniors signed up for the base exam in December can come after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays to room 316 for base practice and tutoring. Students of Colorado and GSA meetings are po postponed until Thanksgiving. Auditions for the spring school musical Mamma Mia are November 30th, 2021 in the auditorium. There is a mandatory dance call from 2.30 to 3 in the auditorium for everyone auditioning. All singing roles must sign up for the audition time by scanning this QR code and downloading the audition song excerpts off the school website to prepare. If you are auditioning for a non-singing dance role, you, you will need to attend the dance call. Michael Lee Brown, who played Evan in Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway, is going to be the music director. The French Honor Society is sponsoring a fundraiser for Hope to Haiti to provide clean water to 15 families in Haiti, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. This year, your class can donate directly by using the QR code below. The fourth year of class that donates the most will receive a box of croissants. The last collection is today. We're halfway to our goal for the Hope for Haiti fundraiser. Donate your money and get your croissants. Don't forget to donate. Attention seniors, everyone needs a cap and gown in order to participate in the graduation ceremony. If you missed ordering your cap and gowns on campus, go to www.highschool.herfjones.com and order now before the prices go up. Your books are currently on sale for $85. Order online from www.justinsyearbook.com. The upcoming athletic events are Wednesday, the 24th, Steak and Shake Shootout. Friday, the 26th, Steak and Shake Shootout. <laughs> Saturday, the 27th, Steak and Shake Shootout. Tuesday, the 30th, Boys Soccer versus Canterbury at 5.30 to 7. <laughs> Girls Basketball versus CSN at 4.30 to 6. Boys Basketball versus SFCA at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday, the 1st, Girls Soccer at CSN at 6 p.m. Thursday, the 2nd, Boys Soccer versus Immokalee, 5.30 to 7 p.m. Girls Soccer at Immokalee, 5.30 to 7 p.m. as well. Boys Basketball at Immokalee at 4.30 to 5.30 and 7 p.m. Girls Basketball versus Immokalee at 5.30 to 7 p.m. and Boys Basketball at Immokalee from 4, 5.30 to 7 p.m. Friday the 3rd, Boys Soccer at East Lee is 5.30 to 7. Saturday to the 4th, girls basketball at LaBelle at 1 p.m. Boys basketball at Tampa Jesuit, 12.30 to 2 p.m. Wrestling at Bonita Springs at 8 a.m. And, and that's a wrap for, for the BCTV BC News. News. For the blue and the gray, go Cougars! Hey y'all, it's what the time. So I'm Fifi. I'm Juanita. And we're about to give you the weather. Yeah, okay. So today's Friday, whoop whoop. We have a lot of clouds, I guess I'm seeing, and a high of about 80. We haven't really gotten our lows yet, but that's what we're seeing for Friday. Saturday, we have some isolated showers. We have a high of 83 and a low of 69. And then, sounds like a pretty not great beach day. So Sunday, we also have the same thing. Highs 84, low 68, and isolated showers so stay inside y'all stay inside for monday we have the highest of 81 and the lowest of 67 so i guess fifi it's gonna be cloudy you think so probably so for tuesday it's gonna be a little more sunny um beach beach yeah <laughs> well it's gonna be 68 degrees oh you're right that's a high and a woo, no, cold no. front on tuesday <laughs> <laughs> So for Wednesday, it is gonna be a hot. We out to the beach. And the, the lowest, lowest 50. It's gonna be 50 though. So it might be in the morning though. Yeah. Welcome to Florida. Well, you all live here. Okay. And finally for Thursday, it's gonna be the highest of 78 and the lowest of 57. Yeah. So it might be another bitch day, but. It sounds pretty good to me. And this is a wrap for the weather today. We'll see y'all next week with more weather and more updates. Yeah. Bye. Stay stay cold.
Be safe and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> hey Baron, I just want to review some things that have been going on and look to going to the future. First thing is our bullying and harassment. Some of you seem to be confused about it. So bullying is the repeated and unwanted uh, verbal or physical abuse towards somebody else. That's if they do something, it doesn't have to be really strong. But if you repeatedly name call somebody and they tell you to stop and you keep doing it, that is bullying. If you keep pushing somebody in the hallway, keep happen to bumping into the same person and they, hey, hey, stop. That can be bullying because you're doing that on purpose. You don't continually do that on an accident. If this is happening to you, make sure you tell them to stop. This name calling and things like that, don't engage back. Don't start calling them names as well because then that's not bullying. That means you're engaged in both of you, engaged in abusive behavior. So just make sure if you have any issues, you reach out and you let us know. And we'll be able to work with you on it. You can email Ms. Grossbach or myself through student services, and we'll work with you on that. And let's just try to be nicer to each other, which brings me to number two, which is our threats. For some reason, students want to threaten each other this year, like I'm going to kick your butt and, and all these ridiculous things. I understand that a threat, first off, can, can lead to an arrest, depending upon how you do it. If you transmit that threat through text and things like that, that can lead to arrest. But it'll definitely lead to you getting disciplinary issues, and you could end up going to alternative schools if that continues. Final thing is, for some reason, you all want to fight this year. We have more fights this year already than we've had in the past three years combined. And they're, they're pretty ridiculous. There's no reason, no reason for them. In the history of high schools, fights have never solved anything. Um, your fights can lead all the way to arrest. And I'm going to let you know, we're not, we're not going to be playing with this anymore. I mean, you get five to ten days for fighting. It will just make sure you get your ten days now. You fight again, you're going to alternative schools. This needs to stop. Okay, you need to get yourselves under control. If you have an issue, come and see us. The other thing is reality is if you, you want to fight in school, then you don't really want to fight because um, you know we're just going to break it up and you're just going to get in trouble. There's absolutely nothing to be gained by fighting in school except for getting yourself in trouble and possibly arrested. We will go at you for the full extent of our disciplinary code if you fight in school because you're putting other people in danger for your childish behavior. Everyone else is doing a great job. We really appreciate it. I want to come through with some Oreos and candy and stuff today for those of you that are not acting silly and giving our school a bad name. Thank you. Have a great day. Remember that your worst day at Baron Collier is better than your best day anywhere else. I cry for her, starve for her, fight for her, cut myself for her, eat a crocodile for her. Were you really going to try and outdo me by jumping in a grave and burying yourself alive for her? I'd do the same. Four Danish kings. Now let the cannons fire, trumpets play, and we will begin. Ah, that was a hit. <laughs> Between drinks, to good luck and happiness. Don't do that, baby. I'll Wait, drink if I want to. Thanks, I guess. You want to go to my house for Thanksgiving? You know what? Sure, I'd like that. 